in today's video i'm going to show you what you can do in case you misplaced or in case you have lost your confirmation number so it's easy we're going to make use of uh, the website of dv program this is the website dvprogram.state.gov i'm just going to copy it as it appears and then let me get back to the browser use any browser as long as you are connected to the internet you'll be good to go so i'm going to just to paste the address here this is the website i come to dvprogram.state.gov and then i click on it and then you look for electronic diversity visa this is the one just click on it it's going to prompt you to this screen here telling you that 2024 entry status check so this tells you or shows you that the results are already published it's for 2024 this is what we are talking about then we come to check status you click on check status just give it a few seconds okay it's going to give you this screen here don't worry just click on continue remember it's about you uh, wanting to search the result of uh, your case uh, the result of your selection if you have been selected or not in case you misplaced or you lost your confirmation number as you can see this screen will prompt you to uh, to submit your confirmation number but unfortunately you don't have it anymore so what you're going to do here just below this confirmation uh, space where you're supposed to put your confirmation number uh, it says forgot confirmation number okay so you can click on it it will prompt you to another screen so this screen tells you that you need to verify some of the information here remember we are not talking about DV 2023 or others, but you are looking at the informations regarding DV 2024. Huh? Okay, yeah, 2024, it's already ticked. So what you need to do here, you need to provide your last name. Let's say your last name, uh, it's Moke, for example, and then your first name is JFT. If you don't have middle name, then you can tick on middle name. So this means that you did not provide it, okay? But let's say that you are having some middle name. So first name is going to be Jefte, and then middle name, let's say, for example, Ngaka. Okay. So then you scroll down. You come here. It's going to ask you to provide the month of your your birth. Let's say uh, March. Uh, the day. Let's say. Let's say just twenty eight of March. 1980 what is it 19 okay 56 90 50, 55 sorry and then so you're going to provide the month of your birth the day of your birth and the year of your birth the last thing to provide here that is very important is the email address that you use by the time you have applied let's say the email address was damuna oh sorry Damuna Dot Diego at gmail.com. Let's say this was the email. So once you provide this correct email, the email address has to be correct. And the last thing to do is to recapture or to uh, exactly type these characters as they appear in the picture. In this case, it's X V R C M. For you, it's going to be totally different because these characters they change every time, okay? And then you're gonna come to submit. So if you have been selected, it is going to give you the message that we saw. This message here, which message is gonna show you the screen that you have been selected, okay? With all these details. But in case you you have not been selected, it's gonna show you this one saying that based on the information provided. The entry has not been selected for further processing for the electronic diversity visa program at this time. So I think this video was helpful. If so, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and also like my video. Stay tuned. See you in the next video. Bye.